Florida is taking Tropical Storm Nate seriously as well. Governor Rick Scott attended a briefing with emergency officials this morning, and he'll return again tomorrow morning. News 5's Bryant Clerkley joins us now live from Santa Rosa County. Bryant, have you seen the same level of alertness in residents in northwest Florida? Yes, Roseanne, residents are taking the storm threat very serious. They say that they're going to protect their homes at all costs. Roxanne Watson is collecting the most sand she can. She says she's taking the storm threat very seriously. Well, I am getting sandbags just to make sure that my backyard, it, every time it rains heavily, it fills up with water. I, I back up to some wetlands. At Watson's home in Pace, she says she's more than prepared for the worst case scenario. She has a hurricane radio, flashlights, and everything else she might need. I also have bottled water, the big five-gallon jugs of bottled water, which I went ahead and filled up yesterday. Um, I have about a good eight of them. Um, we do have a generator at the house. Watson grew up in New Orleans, so she says she's no stranger to hurricanes. We're prepared. We also have a travel trailer, and my husband is here. I've got the propane tanks filled, ready to go. I actually filled them the last possible hurricane. Now, fire officials here in Pace say that the sand will be available tomorrow and through the weekend. Live in Pace, I'm Brian Clerkley, News 5. Thank you, Bryant. Santa Rosa residents can fill their own sandbags for free at Tiger Point in Gulf Breeze, Holly by the Sea in Navarre, Pace Fire Rescue, and at the corner of Pine Forest Road and Carroll Road in Milton. You must bring your own shovel and your own bags.